Fairfield High School students are taking a stand against hate by walking out of class today. The demonstration comes after a sophomore was called a racial slur on social media. News 12 Connecticut's Lauren Fabrizi has that story. A couple hundred students walking out of Fairfield Ward High School this morning to stand up against hate and demand change. This after a picture of a Ward sophomore captioned with a racial slur was posted on Snapchat. It's been hectic. We're trying to deal with the situation to the best of our ability. Judith Medor says her son Jamar has had trouble going to school the past two weeks since the post circulated and has opted to learn remotely some days. She adds her younger son Jake, a Ward freshman, was also called a racial slur slur by students in the district following the incident with Jamar. She says while both of her sons are in school today, they decided against walking out. They're very supportive, but they just feel uncomfortable to be present. Judith says she wanted to come out to support the students who took part, though, and so did a few of their parents holding up signs on the sidewalk. Over at Ludlow High School across town, students there walked out, too. We won't tolerate this type, this type of hatred at Ludlow or in Fairfield and that we want change, we demand change, not only um, to the perpetrator of this specific action, but to the systems as a whole, because this is not really an isolated incident. We wanted to make sure that the students felt like they had ownership of the event, so we, we, it was a kind of a hands-off approach, but of course, you know, our priority is to keep them safe. The superintendent says both incidents were investigated, that the students involved were identified, and appropriate actions were taken, adding that discrimination and racism will not be tolerated. Additionally, police charged the 16-year-old student accused of the Snapchat post with ridicule on account of creed, religion, color, denomination, nationality, or race, and second-degree breach of peace. Back at war, Judith is hoping incidents like this won't happen again. To teach these kids you know how to treat others and uh, to, to be sensitive about different cultures. In Fairfield, Lauren Fabrizi, News 12 Connecticut. And the principals of both high schools say they worked with police to maintain a safe environment during this peaceful demonstration. They say the students who walked out are still responsible for making up missed assignments.